the program director here at Camino Recovery. We treat addiction, trauma, and we also do family work. Disease or addiction, uh, depression, anxiety, stress, it is a family problem. It's not just an individual's problem. There is no real typical person that comes to us, although a lot of the times we do get people that are difficult cases, chemical addiction, and depression, mental and nervous disorder, anxiety, unresolved trauma, relationship problems, family system problems. We work with people from all over the, the Mediterranean, actually all over the world. The team we have is highly professional, highly experienced. Everyone is, is master's degree or better. I'm Dr. Charles Trier and uh, I'm a GP in Marbella. I've been here for 25 years. He's run his own chemical dependency unit before, so he understands addictions well. Addictive disease is really a complex psychological condition. He understands the complexities of detox and what clients need most. One of the huge benefits of communal rehab is the personal interaction between the patient and the staff. We also have uh, Afsham. I do CBT and person-centered therapy. She delivers the cognitive behavioral therapy. The idea behind that is that the thoughts that we have are what influences our behavior and the way we feel. Because if nothing changes, no thinking changes, then no behaviors change. Helping them to see it for themselves. She allows for that to happen with clients in safety and caring. It's a very um, comfortable, very family-orientated feeling that you get when you're here. We also have Raksha Kumari. And Raksha is uh, a person-centered therapist. There's a lot of us do, who do very different therapies. She's got a lot of personal experience in the recovery process of addiction. But the nice thing about it is all the therapies come together. We've got a uh, master's degree uh, case manager, Amit. I'm responsible for the treatment planning, um, assessment. He's the one that provides an excellent balance between what is considered addiction counseling and psychotherapy. Addiction affects everyone. Um, you know, a lot of people will single out one person, the individual, the addict, and the, the knock-on effects of their addiction have a ripple effect in the family. My name is Shirley, and I have a son who was an addict um, of everything, alcohol, drugs, everything, and it just became worse and worse and his life became unbearable for him and everyone around him. Tremendous amount of pain for both of us. I believe that the main problem with all addicts and with, with their families is co-dependency. I was actually enabling him by always keeping a safety net under him and um, eventually we found coming to recovery and our lives changed completely. Nicholas was at Camino for six weeks. The change in him was enormous. It, it happened very quickly. I think for Nicholas what clicked with him here was the intelligence of it. I think the, the, the knowing, the knowledge of how to deal with addicts. Nicholas is a very happy, wonderful person who's been clean for about two and a half years. He's holding down a, a terrific job. He's about to get married and he's, he's got a life. He continues to work on himself, as I do, uh, because we've been given the tools from Camino to do that. And I would never believe that he would be this far in such a short time. Camino is located midpoint on the coast in Andalusia between Gibraltar and Malaga. We are 100 yards from the beach. A beach walk every morning at 8. It's lovely. It's quiet. It's secluded. It's very, very calming. We think that detoxing as well as doing some initial important work in the sun, in the warmth, is better than a cold, wet climate. Today we're doing equine-assisted psychotherapy teaching humans and horses how to respect and understand each other's boundaries. With me today, I've got Bente, and she's a 
student of equine, and she's learning to do the congruent message sending exercises. She's learning effectively how to lunge the horse. This is about getting the horse to walk, trot, canter around the ring in a way that her messages are clear, they're unmixed, the boundaries are clear. Breathe. Lower. This is about developing a relationship. Just being near a horse, people have these profound experiences, these wonderful experiences. They can't quite put their finger on why it was so profound, why it is so relaxing, why it is so nurturing. More than sleep, more than sex, more than anything, horses live for join up. If they can connect with that creature, they can learn to connect with self. If they can learn to connect with self, they can learn to connect with the people that are most important in their lives. Mm -hmm.